This week I thought I'd do a little channel update. I'm gonna share some thoughts of where I'm gonna go with the channel and also make an announcement. Now, because this is a pretty lightweight video, there's no code example, I'm gonna make it up to you next week by posting two videos instead of one. And one of those videos has something to do with the announcement that I'll make in a minute. I did a channel update video like this a while ago when we reached a thousand subscribers. At the moment, we're already at more than 3,000 subscribers, which is really crazy. If you watched that previous video, you might remember that I was struggling with the focus of the channel, in particular on how to deal with Python content. And I think I figured out the answer. In principle, this channel is about software design. You can explain things like design patterns or design principles in any programming language. But I do notice that most of you have a background in Python. And I was a bit reluctant in the beginning to kind of turn this into a Python only channel. But when I look at my analytics, I see that whenever I post a video that's a Python video, it does just much better in terms of engagement, likes, comments, views than a video that's say about TypeScript. So I feel like I need to consolidate this channel a little bit and focus on what's really important to you. And that means that I'm gonna focus on software design in Python from now on. Now that doesn't mean that I will not look at other programming languages anymore. I think it's still useful to compare Python with other programming languages and learn from that. But instead of say doing a video about encapsulation and then using a Go example, I would use a Python example, but perhaps also spend a few minutes on comparing that example with how you would do it in Go. In the past, my main concern was to make sure that the software design concepts were clearly explained and I didn't focus that much on the quality of the Python code. But now that changes. I've basically set a goal for myself to try and create the best educational content I can. And that means I need to make sure that the quality of the Python code examples is as high as I can get it. And there are two things that I'm going to do to make them better. The first thing I'll do is rely on a couple of packages and plugins of VS Code to make sure that the code style of my examples is good and that I adhere to the best practices and standards of the Python world. I think that's important because on the one hand it gives a coherent look and feel to the examples on the channel, but the second thing is if you want to use those code examples in your own projects, you don't have to worry about dealing with style issues and other things that are not standard in the Python world. I've landed basically on a combination of three things, which is PyLint, MyPy and Black. I use PyLint as my main linting tool, so that helps me weed out any issues with uh, style and other uh, non-standard things in Python. I use MyPy to fix any mistakes I make in the typing, and then I use Black as an automatic formatting tool for my Python code. I particularly like using Black. It kind of reminds me of Prettier.js, which in the JavaScript world is a similar tool for formatting JavaScript code. I like a lot that it's very opinionated and doesn't leave me with a lot of options to screw up. If you're developing in Python and you're not using these tools, I highly recommend that you do because they really help you improve the quality of your work. The second thing I've done is I've asked a few people from the community on Discord to help me with reviewing my code examples before I shoot the video. I'm a human being, I make mistakes, and it's always good to have an extra pair of eyes to just make sure that the quality is there, both from the code perspective and from the educational perspective. I've done this now for the next batch of videos, and I think you're gonna notice a huge leap in quality starting next week. Now it's time for the announcement. I'm starting a podcast. It's gonna be a bit different from the stuff that I do on my channel. In the podcast, I'm going to do interviews with people from industry and education on the topic of software design. This is gonna be a semi-regular thing, probably once a month. I'm gonna post these podcasts on YouTube, or probably edited, summarized versions of them, because I think that works a bit better in the video format. But if you wanna to listen to the full thing, I'm also gonna put a link there to the full audio podcast that I'll publish on Apple Podcasts and Spotify and other places. I'm going to post the first episode of the podcast next week. And that's next to my regular Friday video. The first episode is an interview with a very good friend of mine, Sebrand Stuvel, who is a senior developer at Blender, the biggest open source 3D graphics and modeling tool. I'm sure you heard about it. We'll talk about the history of Blender, Blender software design, how it integrates with Python and much more. It was a really fun interview and I think you're gonna like it too. I'm also going to do a Q&A soon. There's a post about it in the community section of YouTube. You can ask me any question you like. Well, don't blow your shot on something ridiculous like what shaving cream I use or something. I use a shaving soap, a cheap ass Dutch one, the Verguldehand and a brush. And obviously a straight razor because every self-respecting software developer should use that. And straight razors are also environmentally friendly. 
until you have to call an ambulance. Anyway, leave your question as a reply to my community post. I'll make a video then and try to answer as many of your questions as possible. That was it for today. Thanks for watching, take care and see you next week.